Hey guys, in this video I will show you the best Sage Foils that I like to use when I'm playing Sage here on Ascent and it will start right here when we are attacking and going on A. So usually in a situation there is smoke here. in this spot and you can very simply place your wall like this and that way the enemies won't see the wall being built up however they will hear it of course and then you can pick heaven these rafters or even see in the backside above the above the smoke or even here and try to get an open kill like this since usually enemies would not really expect you to be here however my favorite wall is this one i love to do this you just very simply place your wall like this you want to make sure that you are placing on this corner not on this wall and then you can climb climb up right here on this corner and then when you crouch you can see all the way in the back and if there would be anyone on the other side of the wall you would see them see their legs and you can get a free kill by that as you can see i was able to see all the way here and the enemies have no chance of seeing you since this is a, the best one-way wall which you can really do there are at least two more one-way walls which you can do and for these one-way walls you will be using Here. these Here. these blocks and firstly you want to do them like this just like that you place your wall like this and then you can be here all the way back you can be watching spike, spike. and if the enemies would be defusing spike. you could see them here. very easily and they would have once again no chance of spotting you and this also works yeah. for this other corner if the, if the spike would be Let planted somewhere in this area when you are attacking on the middle you can do also walls like these you want to stand on top of this wall and then you are able to peek all the way here, here. and if there will be anyone standing you can catch him off guard and this here. also works for any spots like this or even if the enemy would here. be this shirt you have the advantage and he would never expect you to be here you can also do a wall like this just so that you are elevated behind this box and be waiting for anyone to push short or have a little bit of coverage before the from the enemies yeah. would be in the market right here if you are pushing shark you can also do walls like this that's why once again if there would be anyone in market he would not expect you to be on top of this wall and you can get an easy kill or you can build your wall right here and use it as a little boost to get yourself on top of this yeah. box and then you will be able to peek the market here. once again when you are attacking B, you can do this very simple wall, just like this. I like this wall to do it that way, so that way uh, the yeah. wall is in this wall as well, just like that. That way you have more space to work with, and you can go all the way here and be holding spawn as well. Unlike if you did, that, did just these two blocks. And you would be only able to hold this and then a little bit of market. This way you have the control of the market and spawn as well. And it works just the same. However, here is this block visible, but it doesn't make any difference. Now let's move on to defending on A side. Firstly, there is this simple wall. You just usually do it like this. But what I like to do, I like to make there a little bit of space. This little gap so I can hide there. At that spot that's what i like to do or you can just very simply hop on top of these boxes and do, be doing the pretty much the same thing so you should try to utilize this usually enemies won't break this yeah. block since it would not really be a obstacle for them and then you can very simply hide here and wait for enemies to push around to identify them in their back there are also three walls which you can use for for beacon for example this one just like that and now you can be holding here. above behind this generator enemies right here as well here and it's a very interesting spot to hold usually you wouldn't be expected to be here another spot can be this one behind this corner of this once again you are elevated your head is far up and it would not be very easy for enemies to hit that and this also works for spot right here you can try to get a kill 
or two and then you can just simply fall behind your point reposition or wait for your enemy for your teammates to help you out you can also be doing your wall right here on chart the best way to do that wall is like this so that way the enemies would have to break as many blocks as possible in any case they would have to break at least two yeah. blocks these these yeah. two they wanna push the tree and you can be even doing the wall, your wall like this and then you can be standing yeah. on this corner and waiting for enemies to break it then you can try to peek them and surprise them or you can once again yeah. hide in this corner and try to surprise them from here right here at three you can do also a one-way wall just like this you want to place it on top yeah. of this while you are jumping And the wall will be placed like this and then you can be waiting for anyone to be crossing through the tree yeah. and you can shoot them right yeah. here but and they have no chance of seeing you at this spot there are two walls which you can try to do first one is this one very simply along this wall and then you can peek from behind on mid or you can do your wall right here on top of this as well it works the same and at this spot you are more, more elevate, elevated if you want to push tiles and you want to do it in style you can do this wall just like this and then you can jump here. all the way here on top of this and you can shoot the enemies and they would not really expect this or you can just very simply boost yourself here and try to surprise here. enemies on top mat Right here on B you can do this simple one way wall, you wanna stand close yeah. to this corner and place your wall just like this. Then you wanna go yeah. behind this corner, crouch and yeah. you can shoot yeah. anyone who you see in B main, yeah. all the way here in the back. And they would have no chance of yeah. spotting you since you are here. When defending, placing wall like this can be surprising for the enemy since they won't usually check your position here and you can be hiding in this corner and waiting for them to push they would usually be looking the other way or only market and never behind this wall you can do also walls like these which will be very effective and then you can be standing on top of the wall this is walled off so the, it would be hard for enemies to push if you would fall back and then you can be holding them either through this fence or just very simply over it and also you can do your wall just like this and once again you can be peeking yeah. over this or you can just simply jump over it if you want to reposition and be holding stairs yeah. you can do this in a post plan situation as well and lastly there are these two walls which you can use first one is very simply this one you can just be standing and waiting for anyone to push from spawn uh, hard positions to predict and the enemies would never expect it to be here just like that or you can do your wall right here you just want to jump right here and boost yourself up on top of this box very simply once again yeah. you can be hold, you can be holding spawn and then we'll start with this simple one which you can do just at the beginning of the round you want to just simply yeah. jump on top of this flower pot and then build your wall like this and then you can see anyone who would be yeah. holding you from rafters right at this spot usually enemies can be holding here with operator and you can surprise them with your yeah. head peeking right here they would be trying yeah. to do this so very simple wall to counter that if you are pushing inside, you can try doing this wall boost to surprise enemies in heaven. Just very simply like this. And then you can either peek heaven or you can just very yeah. simply jump on on here. Like this. It's very simple jump and it works fantastic. And then you can go in heaven and try to flank the enemies. Other way how you can do this trick is with this yeah. flower pot. You just wanna do it like this. And it works just as fine. Right here on A side, there are two more wall boosts which are very simple. Firstly, this one, you can do it just like this. This way, you wanna be on this corner and you will be waiting for anyone to come from main or you can even peek in heaven. A very simple wall. The other one is right behind this screen and you wanna do it like this once again. And once again, you can be holding anyone from pushing here or be watching heaven 
from this spot where enemies would never pre-aim. On this ramp you can do a very simple one way roll, just like this. And that way you can be all the way in the back and be watching yeah. for anyone to push ramps and they would have no chance of spotting you. As you can see you would be all the way in the back but I can see you all, all this time. You can be as far as you can, Here. you can be shooting them. If you know yeah. that the enemies are coming from these ropes, you can try doing fast this simple wall. Just like that. And then you can be waiting here in the back for them to come. But be careful, this wall, this one way yeah. doesn't work for ramps. Just only for this spot. There would be anyone coming from the ropes. If you are at ropes and you still have your wall, you can try and do in this simple wall. That way that the enemies would not expect yeah. you to be holding this spot if they would be pushing heaven. And it would be much easier for them to kill you than if you were hanging on top of these ropes. Right here on mid there are two one-way walls which you can do. First like this one. Just like this. And then you can be all the way in heaven waiting for enemies to come to you. And you can see all the way through this side. And another one way Here. is on this flower pot, just like this. A very simple one. And then you can be all the way here in the back, waiting for enemies to come. And once again, they would have no chance of spotting you since you are all the way here, here. in the back. Also, at a very similar spot, you can do this simple wall boost, just like this. And then you can go all the way to this corner and be watching middle if you like. Just like that. And the enemies would never here. expect you to be all the way here on top of this wall. At this spot in heaven you can do plenty of different walls. Firstly, you can do for example this one. You wanna always go more to the right so that you here. accidentally hit this top and then you break the wall. Then you can break here. these blocks and be watching either into B main or just simply into heaven as well. You can also try yeah. jumping on top of this box with your wall, just like this. And then you can be either watching yeah. into the tunnels, or you can just very simply be watching into heaven at this off angle. The enemies would never expect you to be. Just like that. You can also do plenty of wall boosts yeah. on this box, for example like this. And then you can be either watching heaven or waiting for anyone to push from this side. Right here on B you can also do your wall boost right here in the back, just like this. And you can be watching and waiting for anyone yeah. to come out of garage. When you are attacking on A there are two best balls which you should do. Firstly, must known one, most common, now, most common one is this one. Just very simply you block off the yeah. view from anyone from tower. Or then you can do this simple one right here on site. That way you give yourself safe you give yourself the safe space to plant. Or you can even try just simply walling off the spawn like this. And then you are giving self yourself the option of jumping on top of this box and going in heaven and maybe surprising enemies from this spot since they would not expect you to be here. Also, I cannot forget to mention this very simple one-way wall yeah. right here on spawn. You want to do it just like this. And then you can go all the way in the back and waiting yeah. for anyone to push these stairs from spawn. And the enemy would be a very easy kill for you. Or you can, if you don't want to do that one way, you can just very simply do your wall like this. That way the enemies would have to break yeah. at least two or three blocks to get in here. And you can do it even further yeah. if you placed your wall lower just like this this way there are all four blocks that would have to be broken for for them to get to site and we will start right here on a side on short this simple wall firstly you can do your wall very simply like this that way you are giving yourself the option of going into this little pocket and trying to surprise the enemies if they if they won't check this Either way, you should be able to get at least one kill from this spot. Also, you can do a very simple wall boost, just like this. And then you can be waiting for enemies to be closer. You don't have to peek straight right immediately. You can just wait and then try to surprise enemies when they won't really expect you to be here. 
you can even try doing this simple wall boost right behind the truck just like this then you wanna be standing right behind it and you can be either watching showers or you can always peek right here on chart where the enemies would never expect your head to be right yeah. here very simple wall and it can really catch enemies of guard but make sure this block yeah. is invisible so it doesn't so it doesn't work out after that at lamps yeah. right and this corner you can do a very simple wall boost just like this and you wanna do it just like that then make sure you break at yeah. least this block so that way this block is always visible right here in showers and the enemies would know that you are here and they would either try to pre-fire you and also break this block so that way you are only standing on this one and that way you are in a, in a great position to surprise the enemies you can be watching either either them coming from bath or them on site it's really up to you how you play this here in showers if you want to do the balls you should be always going for this orb then I would recommend you doing the wall just like this. That way the enemies would have to break two blocks to get into the showers and you, you would it would be very easy for you to take yeah. this arc. If you are attacking and get yourself on site, you can try doing this sage wall just like this. That way you can be hiding behind this corner, behind yeah. this box and you can be just simply holding heaven the enemies would never expect you to be there or you can just simply uncrouch be watching yeah. either backside or then you can peek with it it's very simple to do and it really help will help you out also i should mention these two wall spots right here on a firstly very simple this one you want to do this one behind the triple that way you can either be waiting for anyone from baths or just very simple simply holding short once again and this wall is also great if you wanna if you get this if you get this the lamp control you can do this wall just like this. That way the enemies would have to break a lot of walls. You should not stand on it though since it will break because there are these spots on above you, so it will break the wall. But this way the enemies would have to break three blocks every time. And it will win you a lot of time. Now let's move on to B side into the Zuka area. Firstly, I will show you this simple one-way wall that you can do on this yeah. corner, just like this. It's very simple to do, and then you can be right here in the back and waiting for anyone who pushes hookah. And they, the enemies would have no chance of seeing you once again. Or you can try to do this wall from here, from the back. Just hop on top of this, and then you want to do your wall just like this so that there is a very little space for you to be in and the enemies might not even check you and then you can very simply kill them in the back a very simple wall and it, it would work fantastic if it works out for you you can even have a teammate here who will try to bait them on themselves right here at long you can be very simply doing your wall like this and then taking the orb which would be very beneficial for your team if you, if you will have the revive fast or you can just very simply do this wall, but this is, this is the one that I love to do. Since I will show you why. You want to place the wall like this, and you will be standing on top of this block. Then you can you either crouch, or be just very simply right here on the, on the bottom, and be waiting for enemies to come around you, since they would not really check this often. Or you can be on top of this, and if they break either one of these blocks, you can sometimes already see them and try to hit the headshot or you can just let them go around you and then kill them it's very good wall spot you can always jump on top of this as well if you want to be yeah. blocking this elbow you should do it like this without any peeking just simply like this and then also you are giving yourself yeah. the option to jump on top of the wall and peek anyone who'd be an elbow if he would be destroying the wall he would never expect you to be here and then you can pick it. Those are the little de little details that really matter and make the difference. If you will be blocking a spawn, do it like this. That way the enemies once again have to break, in this case, at least three blocks to get through yeah. this. And it's very good to do. It would win you once again a lot of time and it gets you the info depending on how many people will be breaking the wall. 
and when they will be breaking the wall. There is a great one-way wall which you can do in a post plant, and you want to do the wall like this. You want to stand at this plant corner and place your wall crouch when you are crouching above you, just like that. And then yeah. there would be these two blocks, and then you can just very simply go into hookah and be yeah. waiting for an coming from spawn and the enemies who would come from spawn would have no chance of seeing you for a very very long time they would have to be under the wall all the way here and you would already see them yeah. when you are when they are there so this one is very very good wall very one of the best one ways which there probably is and you should try it and it will win you a lot of rounds if, you, if this if this is done and lastly, when you are defending, you should try at least once doing this great wall. Then you should always go to the right. But if you are standing right in the middle, you don't have to. But be careful so you don't accidentally hit this. And then you can be either standing on this spot. This spot is a bit harsh since they can wall bank you very easily and get a free kill. But this spot is much better. You can be all even looking at long and then peeking into hookah. So this is a, once again, a great spot to do, and it will really help you out. And firstly, when we are start, we are going to start right here when we are defending with this simple wall. Firstly, you want to place this wall right into this corner, just like this. So that way there is a space on this left side where you can go all the way here. And this is a great angle for you to hold since enemies would never expect you to stand here. This is, they would here. never pre-aim at this spot. They would usually try to white white peak yeah. and hold this angle never here so you have the advantage at this point a very similar wall you can do yeah. right here just like this this also blocks yeah. off this tower so that way it gives you more safety for your team you place your wall like this and you want to go a little bit to the right so that you accidentally hit yeah. this top that would cause this wall to to be broken and once again you can be holding this corner I would recommend you holding the operator since it would be usually a very, very easy kill for you. Another wall right here in tower is this one. You want to do it yeah. on this corner and this one is rather for attacking than defending. And I will just show you why. And you want to do it like this. And you want to go all the way to this left corner. And you would yeah. see all the way here to this generator. And you would have this great of angle for anyone who would be pushing there since no one would expect your head yeah. to be all the way here. Right here in this B main, you can do also one way wall, just like this. A very simple one, and as you can see, you can see all yeah. the way in the back here. And you can go all the way here. here. And the enemies would have no chance of seeing you. And you can see all the way here to this orb. If they would be taking that, you can here. see them. At these two spots you can use your wall as a boost as well for example this spot you can be very yeah. simply holding this p main and you can see yeah. all the way here in the back but you should be careful yeah. since enemies can push you from this spot therefore this one is much better you can do your wall how you want you can do it even like this that way you can choose if you want to be holding it in the back and you can be holding this angle yeah. or if you want to be yeah. in this corner that way you will be more covered yeah. from the right and you can be holding any of these spots for this one way wall you will be using yeah. these stairs just like this it's quite a strange wall however it works and if you do your wall like this then you just want to hide right here yeah. and anyone who would be crossing from this b main to side would be exposed to from right yeah. here from this b lane as you can see, the enemies would have no chance of spotting you. Just a quick tip with this wall, if you are attacking and you are going on B, you wanna do your wall like this. I find this wall the most useful one, since it blocks off this very important choke point, and if the enemies would be here, you will block them off. However, you should be careful, the enemies can still see anyone right here at the back side, so be careful if you do that one. Moving on to A side, one of my favorite walls which I like to do with Sage is this one. At the beginning of the round there is yeah. barrier, barrier here, I usually hug it and I try to place my wall right here as fast as you can, just like this. That way when you are not, you are not placing your yeah. wall right here or here, yeah. you are not given the option of them yeah. going only to the doors, you are just closing both of these spots 
and I like to go with someone here that usually waits here and he either kills the guy if they break the wall yeah. it's a very simple wall and it works fantastic however you can do a different wall for example this one just like this that way you can you will get this wall boost as well you can be crouching the enemies won't see you and then you can very simply peek behind this box it's very simple and it can surprise enemies a great wall which you can do to block out the dish is very simply this one you just want to stand here in the back and place your wall like this that way you are giving yourself the option of hiding on either side and holding any of these corners or you can be even here and this would be much easier for you to peek since half of your body would be always covered and the enemies would not usually expect this you can combine it with some flashes and you can get some free kills this way and once again you should be careful just so that no one picks you from main and also this gives you the option to always hop on top of the side if you want when i am attacking my favorite wall to do is very simply this one i just come here and place my wall like this that way this whole area is blocked off and these choke points are the enemies can be here but it gives you much more time you should be careful the, the enemies can yeah. still jump on top of the wall from top of this box so that's the disadvantage but it would be easy for you to kill them also there still can be anyone yeah. holding you from ropes but this wall is overall i think the best one to do on top of the side you can also be doing walls like these and then you can go yeah. just right at this corner and you can be holding this spot yeah. off it's once again an unexpected position to hold. If you planted yeah. your spike right into this corner, you can do this very simple one way. Just get here to these stairs yeah. and place your wall just like this. If, if the spike was planted there, anyone who would be defusing would have no chance of seeing anyone from anywhere else, as you can see. Spike. And you can very simply shoot them to the toes. If you planted the spike on top of this, spike you can do your wall just like this. That way enemies would have to break at least two blocks to get to this spike. So you can see not at, at least these two or the, this one and this Here. one. Very simple. You can even use some wall boots like this. To very simply hold anyone Here. from this drop. It would be a, a different to hold. Here than from here since the enemies would never expect you to be here on top of this spot and lastly you can also place your wall just like this on top of this box and then you can be holding yeah. this dish from a very different angle and the enemies would have never expect you to be right here. here and we will start right here on a side with these tricks firstly when you are attacking on a you should always be doing your wall like this to make sure yeah. you are placing it on this bottom floor otherwise the wall won't be placed correctly and the enemies can this wall yeah. won't be built and the enemies can kill you when you are planting but still you should be careful when you are going this way the head level your head is visible on either side so the enemies can hit either headshot or you can it really depends on your aim if the spike is planted right here, you can try doing this simple one-way wall. Just like this. And if there would be anyone defusing, you wanna, you will be, always see him yeah. and the enemy has no chance of seeing you. Since he is uh, very close to the wall, like this. And you are all the way here. here. Hiding. In the cave. You can also build here. your wall next to this fall br brick wall. Just like this. That way you will either peek and see on top of the bridge or you can just jump on top of it and peek doors but you can do it when you are defending as well the wall will look like this and you can very simply just be standing here and you can be waiting for anyone to come out of cave this is a very unexpected spot for enemies and they would never expect you yeah. to be here another unexpected spot is yeah. right behind this triple box you can do your wall just simply like this and once again, you can be holding anyone who would be pushing between those two pyramids, or you can even go more to the left if you feel if you are feeling yourself. And this yeah. gives this pyramid gives you a little bit of protection since your head would be peeking yeah. right here. You can even do a very simple one way wall into a cave, just like this. And then you wanna be standing right here, you can be close to these, and you yeah. can see all the way here in the back. 
And the enemies have no chance of spotting you since there is no way. Also, one of the best spots where you can build your wall is right here. And you can be just simply peeking into the cave. But be careful, if they found find out that you are there, you are pretty much dead since you have nowhere to escape. So you can always take at least two players with you from this unexpected spot, but expect yourself to be traded, or you should have your teammates ready to help you. At these metal doors, there is one great one wall. It's, it's a one-way wall. You should be crouching when you build this wall, make sure, otherwise you will hit this top and the wall will be broken below you and then you can be just very simply peeking over these doors if you build it closer just like this it's gonna be a bit better and then you can see all the way here if there is anyone coming and the enemies have no chance of seeing you since your head is all the way here and you can see their legs it's a great one way wall to do otherwise if you just want to block the doors off you just want to build yours Wall like this once again just because you, the enemies would have to break at least two blocks if they would want to flank you or it or and also we will have time to react to that if you don't want the if you don't want the defenders to flank you you can just do your wall like this you want to be crouching right in the middle and you can just simply go with it and then you can be waiting on either side if the enemies will be pushing. If they break yeah. these walls, you are on at this great spot and the enemies would never expect you to be standing on just right yeah. here. So it's a great wall to do as well. Right here in the middle, there's plenty of walls which you can do to boost yourself. Firstly, you can do it on this side and then you can peek into heaven, here. into this nest, or you can do it even on the other side. But here you are more exposed here. to these doors, so be careful and then you can peek here. even this tunnel also when you are defending i should mention that there is this simple one-way wall just like this and then you can see all the way here if there would be anyone at the doors but anyway if you want to block off the doors with your wall just do it like this when you are defending of course from this side and then you can also give yourself the option to hop on top of this and be waiting for anyone yeah. to come around and then you can try to get a kill as well. Another wall boost which is right here on mid is very simple. This one, just put your wall like this and you can yeah. hop yourself, you can hop all the way here. You can also, when you are defending, do this wall at the beginning of the round and then you can even try to surprise the enemies with this simple peek, which might work out for you. Also, if you are attacking and you are going all the yeah. way here, you can build your wall just like this and it will block up the whole nest and the enemies would have to break it. It will win you not only some safe space to work with, but also some time since they would have to destroy it when retaken. But if you don't want to do this wall, you can always try doing this one. But there is also this simple one way wall just like this. You hop on top of that and then you can be very simply after you plant holding anyone who might want to come from here yeah. and the enemies would have no chance of seeing you once again and you are all the way in the back yeah. right there but the enemies would never crouch and be trying yeah. to fight on this spot on b side there's plenty of wall boost Firstly this one, just simple like this alongside of this wall and then you can, can be yeah. peeking into B main. There is also more spots, firstly this one, you want to build your wall like this and you can hop on the other side if you want. You can break these blocks so that you are not expected here and then be holding it like this. Once again, if the enemies would peek, peek from May, they would never really expect you to be all the way here and you have the advantage of seeing them first and having the closer placement on the right spot and you can also do this from here as well and you can just simply hop on top of this corner and be waiting for anyone to come or you can just simply be holding this then you can fall back a little bit and waiting for them the enemies would not expect you to be on top of this block yeah. after that and would be aiming yeah. down so you have the advantage once again even doing well like this can be very helpful since enemies would not 
open go all the way and check yeah. this corner so if you are holding here and crouching waiting for them maybe to plant or waiting yeah. for them to push into the back you can just simply surprise them and get yourself some easy kill this way and lastly you can even do your yeah. wall very simple like this on spawn this way you will block off both of these entrances and it's a very simple wall to do however be careful the enemies can already be here when you are doing this wall so it's a bit riskier but it also pays off very well since you can once again very simply hold this spot and the enemies when they would push they would usually break either yeah. one of these blocks and they would not really watch yeah. all the way here to the right so you are once again an advantage that spot again and we will start with a wall which will counter yeah. anyone who's pushing sewer so lot so you want to just simply stand on this corner right here and then you place your wall yeah. on top of this garden just like this the wall yeah. will be placed right here and if there would be anyone yeah. pushing you can just simply wall bang them through this little window right here very simple wall and it's really hard to expect since your head would yeah. be right here there's plenty of ways how you can yeah. wall this area at sewers one of it is just by simply placing your wall like this this way yeah. the enemies would have to break at least two blocks every time if they want to push in but what i like to do the most is what simply doing wall like this you want to stand on top of it so it gives you the option of always being able to peek into the sewers or there's this yeah. little corner on which you can stand as well you can even hide behind this corner and try to hold it use it as cover or you can be hiding right in this corner it, this wall just gives you so much of so much so many options which you can use and it's probably one of the best ones right yeah. on this little item you can also do plenty of one-way walls with it for example like this then you will just simply go into the back and as you can see yeah. you can see anyone who'd be on long at different angles yeah. a very simple wall right here yeah. at long there are these blocks you can also use it as a wall, wall boost and you can just simply boost yourself up and be yeah. watching this lobby right here when you are attacking there are two best ways how you can place your wall first one is very simply like this you want to make sure every time that there is this little gap where you can hide enemies will usually yeah. break this block but they would not really expect you to yeah. be here so once again a great position to hold and also gives you this little cover in this corner and this other way how you can do this do this well it's just simply like this you can be either standing on this side or that side yeah. and be waiting for enemies to come and this creates a little pocket where if you have a race or sova they can shoot yeah. their darts or or their nades usually enemies would be standing here and waiting for for them to push together so this is a great spot to to shoot your utility on b there are three balls which you can use first one is very simply this one this wall is good, you want to replace yeah. it so that you can always jump on top of it and it gives you options to change a lot of positions on this side. Also, there is one in the back side, just like this. This gives you a little boost where you can yeah. see into the window. And the last one would be right here, behind at this spot, at the gong. And once again, it gives you the option to see yeah. all the way into the window. Yeah. If there would be someone peeking, you will see him and you are very far. So if you would be playing maybe with a guardian or marshal or even operator, it would be yeah. a good spot for you to play with. In garage, there is only one trick which I would recommend you doing. And it's just place your wall like this. Once again, the enemies yeah. would have to break at least two blocks every time to get in. Or three in this case, if they want to make that push comfortable and not only yeah. make that this little gap. So this wall is very simple to do, and once again, it can win you a lot of time and a lot of security at this choke point. You can also use your wall as a wall boost on behind this box, very simple like this, and be playing around yeah. these corners. You can even jump on top of it if you want, but this gives you always the cover, which is much better, which I would recommend you doing. Lastly, here on C, you can do this wall. You wanna once again create a little pocket there, just like that. 
and you can also use it as hiding yeah. spot or it also gives you the option to jump on top of it but you don't have to do this one you can do the other one this one wall will give you a bit more space to work with you want to place the corner yeah. of the wall right here just like this and you want to make sure that you will step on that and that will yeah. create a little a little spot where you can stand it's still covered perfectly and if you would be standing there you can be either watching here yeah. this spot is a hard spot for for them to see you you can then jump on top of this or you can be just waiting for them to go to site and it would be very easy to get you at least one kill if you are attacking on C, there are plenty of ways probably the best one how you can use your wall is like this to do it this sideways then it would be harder for enemies push since there would be a smaller gap and you can always do it the other way and then hide yeah. in this corner or if we are pushing i like to use my wall like this to make it as a barrier between those yeah. green box perfectly it just works i'll be great you can wall bang these spots as you go as well since those are very easily wall bangable but be careful enemies can wall bang you back and this is very simple wall if you want to plant fast and then play post plant. And lastly, there is this little one way which you can do. Just come Here. close to this and build your wall like this. And then you can be standing in this corner and be waiting for Here. anyone to push spawn. And Here. these people would be very Here. easy kill for you since you can see them. However, they cannot see you all the way Here. in the back. There's no way they can. And we'll start right here on A side. Firstly, when you are defending, you can do this simple wall and then you can take the orb. This will really help you out since you will get your revive very fast. Another walls which I like to do, there are these two one-way walls. Firstly, this one, just like this. And then if there would be anyone close at the pipes, you will see him right here. So, a very simple one. And you can do a very similar thing right at this elevated spot once again. Just like this. And then you can go all the way in the back and be waiting for anyone to push here. right here. When you are attacking, there's plenty of walls which you can do. Firstly, this simple one, you can just want to do this one. So that way you have also control of the backside and you can be holding anyone at these at the rafters. Or you can do this wall, which is more secure one. Just put it like this and then you plant into this corner. That way you will plant very fast and it will be a bit harder for enemies to retake. Since you haven't gotten so much ground, the enemies will be already on site and will be trying to retake faster. However, this also you can combine yeah. it with flying ups or with killjoy monies. It's a great spot to do it. And also you can yeah. do a simple one-way wall right on top of this. Just like this. This yeah. way if you build your one-way wall like this, you are... Yeah secure from rafters and yeah. you only have to worry for yeah. anyone backside and if there would yeah. be anyone you can very simply kill him since he has no chance of spotting you when you are all the way here 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 and uh, you should get some free kills this way of course on a side there are plenty of wall boosts such as this one you just want to hop on top of this screen like this and then you can do your wall either like this or simply just place it into the wall and then you can be holding you want to break these blocks yeah. behind you so that way you don't they don't see you but you can be just simply do, doing a different wall maybe like this and then breaking yeah. these two blocks in the front and you will be holding a bit harder spot you are more yeah. elevated you can see all the way yeah. here and the nest even further and anyone would be pushed inside when pushing mid, I like to do this wall. It's a very simple one. And then you, your teammates can go along with it. And they are secure from anyone who would be right here on this ramp. And you can simply go mid to B. Other way which you can do is very simply this one. You can then just simply peek on the ramp. And you can also boost yeah. yourself up on top of the tube. Just like this. And you get a lot of space to work with. If you are defending, the most common wall to do is this one. Just very simply, make sure you place it right in the middle. Otherwise, the enemies would be able to go yeah. through this 
gap on each side. So make sure it's perfectly in the middle. And if you build it like that, the enemies would have to break four blocks of the wall. And it would be very difficult for them to do. Now let's move on to B side. When you are attacking, there is not many walls which you can do. The most common one is this one. Just very simply place your wall like this. You can, I, what I like to do, I like to stay on top of my wall. And usually try to fight back side or people here. Then you can even sneak your way all the way here and into... And into the kitchen where you would usually surprise enemies and i've gotten a lot of coils this way it's very simple of course if the enemies build your wall build the wall like this and you are also enemies you are defending sage you can just go close to this wall and build your wall like this that way enemies usually plant right at this corner or if the ball is not even built there if there's only smoke they will usually always plant as close here. to this as possible that way you would elevate the enemy as well and he would be here. right here in front of you standing with his spike in his hands and you have a free kill and you also deny the plant and you did your job perfectly uh, at the beginning of the round when i'm defending i like to do either this wall just like this this way both of these spots are blocked off but you should be careful since the enemies can here. always jump on top of this box and go right here, here. But thing that I like to do most with Sage right here in B, I like to have my wall ready and just simply push at the beginning of the round and then do my wall like this. And I usually elevate myself, that way I can either be looking yeah. all the way here into garage, which is a little bit of a one way, since anyone who'd be close can see yeah. me, but people who are further away cannot see me and I can see them, as you can see, right here. Here. And only, I would have to be Here. real unlucky for people to see me. Then you can also very simply just jump on top of this and be trying to lurk after that. Or you can just very simply just simply go for the ARP. It works as f f well, but... And the third thing that I like to do is just you can simply, if you make a bigger gap here, yeah. you can hide behind this block and the enemy just will go around you thinking that you have already vanished and that you are not holding this spot. So it's a great spot. A great vault to do and it really works out for me. Also there are more vault boosts which you can do for example this one. And then you can be holding anyone here. coming from here all the way here. Or you can just be further back and hold in a different angle. It really depends on you. Or you can just do a very similar similar thing right here on site. Just like this. Make sure you don't hit yeah. this accidentally. You can then hide all the way here in the back. Or you can just be using yeah. this corner as a cover. And once again, works fantastic. And it will really surprise enemies off. And it'll catch them off guard. And lastly, there is this simple wall boost which you can do at the snowman. Just build your wall like this. And then you can be watching and waiting for anyone to push. Best, best to do this one is with operator since you usually have a great timing on this and you can be waiting for anyone on either side and you have an easy kill this way so yeah those are the best walls that i like to use when i'm playing with sage right here on icebox hopefully this video was helpful for you guys don't forget to like the video and subscribe and let me know in the comments what else would you like to, would you like to see and see you guys soon bye